Even our dessert today is a casserole, so to speak, because we're going to make stuffed peaches with Amoretti cookies. And Dorothy and June are going to make Amoretti cookies, and they've already started. So let's tell everybody what you did so far. We ground the almonds. Okay, so they ground the almonds. And you know, I should tell you that in Italy, they use both bitter and sweet almonds. And we sifted confectionery sugar. Okay. And separate and baking powder. And baking powder. And we separated eggs and beat the egg whites. Okay, so you beat the egg whites until they were somewhat Soft. stiff, not too stiff. Not too stiff, because then it's hard to fold. And here they are. And now you are just going to fold the egg whites in with those almonds. And that's all there is to it. And once you fold all of the whites in very slowly, because you don't want to make a heavy batter, once you do this, then what they're going to do is put spoonfuls, or you could use a pastry bag. I'm gonna fill a pastry bag with some of the Amoretti batter. You put it in, and we're going to pipe out some cookies. So we need to work on our batter just a little bit more to get it smoother, and then I'll come back and we'll pipe them out. So why don't you continue doing that? And once those cookies are baked, you know, let them cool down a little bit because then we're going to put them in peaches. They're gonna be a filling for peaches, right over the top with the pulp. We're gonna put them in the oven, and that's gonna be a fabulous dessert. The amoretti are already baked. Ideally, you'd want these to kind of sit around for a day or so, let them get a little bit of hard. They're easier to crumble. These are really fresh. We just took them out of the oven. So what we did was hollowed out our peaches we have fresh peaches here, and I took the pulp. The pulp is in here. We're going to add some sugar. Put the sugar in. Put the sugar. This depends on how, how sweet the peaches are. Okay, all right, so we've got the sugar in, and now I'm gonna give them some of these cookies. And you want to crumble them, crumble them into a bowl. You crumble them into a bowl, and then you add them with some pine nuts to this pulp. This is gonna be the filling for the peaches. They look beautiful. All right, now you can put the... Uh... And to help these bake, we're using a sweet dessert wine. You could use a marsala, or this happens to be a moscato from the moscato grape, which is a sweet dessert wine. You're gonna pour in a little wine along the edge here. Be nice if I took the top off. All right, pour in a little wine along the edge. This is going to help create a nice sauce and also prevent these from burning. So you put the topping on. Your oven's on at 350. You're going to bake these just until a knife inserted in there is very soft. And then those, you need to let cool down, and you can serve them with a little bit of vanilla gelato or just the way they are.